Welcome to Crypt Zone. Hi guys, please feel free to subscribe to my channel and remember to hit that bell icon to get notified of any further content and also to support me on Patreon. It's one dollar and uh, this link will be left in the subscription below. In this box lies something that some of you has never seen before. Something with awesome power. And I'm not talking about an amplifier because this box has been repurposed. The amp is long gone. But inside this box is a card game. A game like no other. A game that will change your life. What can it possibly be? Monopoly? No way. Not Monopoly. Bicycle cards? Even golden bicycle cards? Are you mad? Uh-uh. No boys and girls. Magic. That's what we have. And they're all mine. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel for today. And we're talking about Magic the Gathering. So, to start off this video, I got this deck in 2001, when I was in England, and I fell in love with Magic immediately. Now, if you have ever watched Yu-Gi-Oh!, this is basically the same thing. Unfortunately, being South Africa is not a big thing, not like overseas, and where I'm living specifically, there is no one playing Magic that I know of except the wife. But I'm bored and tired of beating the same person over and over and over. So I'm sitting with all these decks and I can do nothing with it. But anyway, I decided to actually go and build myself the best, most awesomest, powerfulest deck I can build with what I have. Let me just give you a quick idea of how magic works. Straightforward crash course in Magic the Gathering. You've got five colors land. Now the five colors is your mana. Mana is what you draw on to get your magical powers and to summon beasts. Now every card has got a price that you have to pay. According to the amount of land you have and tap, tapping it means that you're drawing into the power, you can buy the card. You can cast the card and then of course you've got sorcery cards, instant cards and all a bunch of cards. But your creatures are the most important thing because you've got a power and a defense level. Same as Yu-Gi-Oh! The power is to how much power or how much damage you can do to the opponent or to the opponent himself. And then the defense card is how much defense your opponent can actually call up to defend himself. Now remember in magic you do not attack a specific creature, you attack the opponent himself. So that guy can choose what he wants to use to block you. That's basically magic in a nutshell. Everyone starts with 20 life points and the one is down to zero is the one who loses. Simple enough. Except for a lot of other rules that comes in while you're playing. It's very intricate and difficult, but also very easy and straightforward. So, for you guys who want to see what I built, or what deck I've actually built, please continue watching. And remember to subscribe to this channel if you want to see more crazy videos. Basically almost like this one. I took all my decks first of all, and then I went through every deck and see what is the best card that I have in each deck. Unfortunately, I had so many that I just couldn't use all of them. Your deck comprises of 60 cards in total. Basically, 20 creatures, 20 land, and then whatever odd bits and ends you have to do to make up the rest. So, first of all was to pack out the decks, choose the creatures, and then I had to actually go and pack them out. After a lot of thinking and reshuffling and taking the cheapest cards with the most power, I came up with the next following deck. Now please, I will read for you what the deck says and you can spend time looking at the awesome art on the cards. That's another thing about this deck that made me just love it, is the artwork. I love the artwork. The first card we have is a creature card. It's a Yavamaya Worm. I think I sp spoke it, pronounced it wrong, but anyway. This card is Trample. 
and it's a 6-4 creature, so it deals 6 damage, it can f take 4 defense, so it's easy to kill, but it does a lot of damage. And the cost is a bit, of, a bit expensive, so... Oh, this is one of my best cards. People hate this card. Enchanted Land, Acoustic Tar. It's very expensive. So unless that guy's got a card that destroys enchantments, he's gonna lose his life points very quick. Let's uh, summon Tree Folk. And this one gives me protection from artifacts, but it's also a 4-4 four, four creature. A Gang of Elk. A Gang of Elk is a 5-4 creature. Whenever a creature blocks it, Gang of Elk gets plus 2, plus 2 until end of turn. Which means if this creature attacks and gets blocked, it automatically goes stronger, which will make it a 7-6 creature. And it's also a bit of an expensive card, but hey, you cannot have just cheap cards, because most of the cheap cards have cheap power. We've got another instant here, destroy target creature, it cannot be regenerated. That's a nice card to use if they attack you, and you instance, of course, you can play any time you want. You don't have to wait for your turn. So when a guy attacks me, I'm just going to throw instant, and we'll destroy his creature. This is Seal of Strength. Seal of Strength, you can actually use on a creature to make him stronger. So let's say you've got a weak little monster that's like a 1-1 one, one or 2-2, two, two, and you want to attack a person, you can use Seal of Strength to make him stronger. So you get that creature will automatically get a plus 3, plus 3, if you use this card. This is a Sorcery card, just what it says, you gain 6 life. Remember in Magic, the rule on the card is the rule of law. Whatever the card says, that's what you do. And of course it doesn't matter how strong your deck is. It all comes down to the draw of the card. If you don't get the right cards, it doesn't matter how good your deck is, you won't play very very long. You're gonna lose. This is just a special land card. Another instant, remove target enchantment <coughs> from the game. So if someone has an enchantment, I can actually remove his enchantment. This is an extremely strong monster that I have. A Shivian Worm. It's a 7-7 seven, seven creature. It's one I think I've got, this is the, the strongest one I have. Predator Strike. Target creature gets plus 3, plus 3, and gains trample until end of turn. So that's a good card. That's just a special planes card, or white magic. Mountain, red magic, also a special one. Thief of Hope. It's a 2-2 two -two creature. Fertile Ground is an enchanted land, so when I play this and I tap it, I can use it to create uh, for any color manner that I want. So let's say I don't have a blue or black or red. If I turn it, tap this card, I can actually turn it into the color land I need. Gold Mass is a typical 3 3 spirit creature. Vital Surge, just basically what it says it's an arcane spell and you gain 3 life. Creature is a zombie. This is a zombie creature, Warpath Ghoul, and it's got a 3 2 level. Another life card that helps me gain 5 life. Your Golem's Eye. It adds 2 um, to your mana pool. So that will basically give me any 2 color land that I want. Rustmouth Ogre. It's just a creature. Call Me of the Hunt. It's a 2-2 two -two creature. That's a 6-4 creature. Don't ask me how Soul Shift works now because that's another rule and we don't want to get into that now. You basically pay 5 land more. This is an artifact that I thought was awesomely cool for myself until I used it and then I, th I actually realized my mistake. It makes your creature stronger, yes. But once you put it on a creature, the creature cannot fight again. It will basically put him in attack mode and he won't be able to get out of it. So, to play this card, you can actually put this on the opponent's monster. And then it's going to make him stronger, but once the attack is done, that guy is stuck where he is until he can destroy the enchantment. So you're basically immobilizing his monster for the next turn. Vicious Hunger just deals 2 damage to target creature and you gain 2 life. Terror is an instant. Destroys target permanent non-black creature. It cannot be regenerated. So it basically kills the guy's creature, he goes to the graveyard and he can never get that creature back by any means. Whether it's a spell or instant, you won't get that creature back. It cannot be regenerated. You actually just remove me out of the entire game. Juggernaut, awesome, very strong monster. 5-3 monster. And Juggernaut attacks each turn if it's able to. And a wall, if a guy's got a wall, cannot stop him. Troll of Tal Jalad. That's a 5-6 troll. 
Joss Crocodile. That's a 5-1 Zombie Crocodile. Another Langren Hunter, which is a 4-4 creature, and it's got tam uh, Trample. This is the most hated card in my deck. People don't love me for this one. It's expensive, as you can see, it's like 9 cards, or 9 land, to summon. But, it's an awesome sorcery card. It destroys all creatures you do not control, but, and they cannot be regenerated. So if you've got 1 player or 10 players, if they've got an army against you, this little card can destroy every creature they have without touching yours and it makes you free to kill them as you wish. That means they are defenseless and you can immediately attack their life points. I absolutely love this card. Vertigo. Vertigo deals 2 damage to target creature with, with flying. The creature loses flying until the end of turn. Of course like magic, only a flying creature can attack a flying creature so this, if you don't have anything flying, this can help you a lot. I've got a drake. Whenever a player plays a spell, you lose one life. Okay, that's a bit of a downer, but hey, you have to take chances or risks sometimes. And of course, most of your black land, or as should we say, evil land, it's mostly sacrificing and doing bad stuff, you know. Demystify. It's an instant, destroys target enchantment. So at least I've got some cards that can protect me against other people that use enchantments. That's a golem, and it's a 5-4 golem. That is what a wall looks like. As you can see, walls do not attack, but it's just for defense. Pulse of the Forge is an instant. Pulse of the Forge deals 4 damage to target player. Then, if the player has more, than, more life than you, return Pulse of the Forge to his owner's hand. So that means you can use this card over and over and over again, depending on what the card states about the guy's life, or other opponent's life. Flames of the Blood Hand is an instant. With the Sea Tree Folk. It's a 5 3 creature with trample. This is another Kami Spirit, and it's a 3 3 Spirit card. The Fodian, which is a 3 3 artifact creature. And we've got the Elixir of Immortality. This is very nice because once I've paid the card plus 2 more land and I tap it, I gain 5 life. And it's an artifact, so it stays in play, it doesn't go anywhere. Unless you've got your opponent has a card that says destroy target artifact then of course this artifact will stay in, um, in play and every time I tap it I will gain 5 life so it will basically make me immortal as long as we play the game anyway so guys what do you think do you think this deck is strong enough for the guys who don't know who don't care sorry for you guys you don't know what you're missing but for the guys who know magic I wish I could challenge anyone to come and play against me I also wish someone would come and play with me uh, well that doesn't sound good. Play game magic with me. Because, like I said, here, there's not a lot of people that plays it. If I want to play magic, I have to go to the Rage Expo, and then you have to pay money to play, and I don't want to pay money to play. I just want to play to play. I mean, you need to practice. You mean you need to get good with this game. And what's the point in playing money every time I want to play the game? Come on. So I'm going to wait until my boys get old enough. I'm going to teach them how to play magic, and then maybe we can have some tournaments in my house. Who knows? Anyway, guys. Thanks for watching. <laughs> if you guys found it interesting, well, thank you very much. Please remember to subscribe. Give a thumbs up if you liked this video. Thumbs down if you didn't. And remember to support me on Patreon if you want to. Guys, till next time. Cheers.